And wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Hello, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining me today. Today, we are going to work in our entryway. I'm going to just kind of bring down the um, Americana feel. I'm trying to kind of slowly transition into everyday decor, and then we will go full force fall. And that will happen about the 11th or 12th of, no, of, excuse me, of September. So I always try to keep up some kind of Americana until September the 11th for obvious reasons. So, you know, I, I wanted to take this moment and tell you all, I am completely so humbled by your comments and your congratulations. This week I reached 7,000 subscribers and to many YouTubers, that's not a lot, but to me, I never expected to have 7,000 subscribers. So I'm very, very thankful. Um, so, I, you know, right now I just feel like the sky's the limit. So thank y'all so very much. Um, hopefully that I can live up to all of y'all's expectations and I can keep doing what I love and sharing with you all our home. And just thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. You know what? Let me just stop talking and let's just get to decorating. That's what y'all like anyway, right? So let's get started. So this is a little alcove area, basically. So what I wanted to do, I've added my great grandmother's very old um, table. It's scuffed up and scratched and I probably could have it redone, but I don't think I wanna do that just for the fact that I love all the character. The top has gotten some imperfections on it and it's okay with me. But I do wanna add some blue and white. Y'all know I love it, so I'm gonna add that over in this corner. Now I've already put some books. These are some old encyclopedias of my mom and dad's. They had them at their house. So when um, they sold their house, I brought them here. And um, they're just really good to give height to pieces that I want. And I know exactly what I want to put here. This really pretty ginger jar. Uh, this one I've had for some time. I did put some little cushion on the bottom where it wouldn't scratch my antique pieces. But I want that on the top to give me the height that I want. And the books help that tremendously. Now on this side, I know that since I have this really bad markup area, I think I want to use a silver tray. I know what you're going to say. I don't clean my silver. I love the character of it. I realize that I should, but I'm just going to angle it right here. Now, I do want to add some more blue and white, but I do think that I need some greenery. To me, every tabletop needs some sort of greenery. I have this really pretty teapot or coffee pot, not really sure. I think you have explained that to me before, but if you'll note that down below, I'll make, make note of that. Uh, I want to say somebody said something about where the spout lies is maybe way down is a, is the coffee and then this is tea. Not really sure, y'all help me out with that. But I am going to put that right here. I have this half sphere. Look how gorgeous that is. It's very full. I bought this from Pine and Ivy. You can look that up. It's an app that you can put on your phone. It's very dangerous, just to, <laughs> just to let you know. But uh, I love Pine and Ivy. I love their greenery. Another place that I have found a lot of beautiful greenery is from um, Piper Classic. They sell a lot of the same kind of greenery that uh, Pine and Ivy, Pine and Ivy or Piper Classic. I'm just going to open the top and just stick my greenery. Look 
how pretty. I had this very similar in our bedroom at one time and I loved it, but now I need some more blue. I have this taller vase and I love the intricate um, little handles on it. So I'm just gonna put that here. And then I have this very small one, very pretty. I think I bought this from Bombay years ago, but I'm just gonna put that maybe here. You'll always notice that I do things kind of on an angle. It just adds more interest, eye appeal to me. So that's why you'll see that a lot. Lastly, I have these two spoons or spoon rests. I'm not really sure of what they are. They are um, that Chenazerie print. So I am going to put those right here. Love that. Now, let's go up to the wall. So you'll see I already have nails in the wall. This is where I had other um, artwork, but I wanna do something slightly different. I have silver, I have blue and white down here, and I'm seriously considering adding silver trays on this wall. This silver tray is very intricate, very uh, not cleaned, <laughs> which I love. So I think I'm going to do this one top and center. I love the rustic look of the uncleaned silver. I think it's beautiful, it's worn, it's weathered. I love that. So I want some link right here. And I have, I have this tray. And instead of hanging it traditionally this way, I think I'm going to hang it this way. So what I did is I took my plate holder and I did it across the top and I'm gonna hang it on this wire right here. I love that. Now, for my last piece, I've come up with something different. I know, I know it's a lid, but look how beautiful and intricate this handle is. So what I'm going to do, I put my um, plate holder on it and I am just going to hang that right there. I love this. I think this is beautiful. Let me step back. And so here you go. My great grandmother's table which I absolutely love. Then some uh, trays and greenery and blue and white, how pretty. And then up top, my silver trays. I think this is beautiful right here. It leads into our bedroom and I love this look. Let's move over to the other side. So this is the little alcove. So there's one on this side, there's one on this side. I have alcoves and little nooks and crannies all through this house. So I normally had, or I used to have a large picture up here of my church. And I am going to do two smaller pictures of my great grandmothers. These are beautiful. They're that uh, prevest, prevest, I can't say it, but they are the um, very pretty floral. And I have to kind of work with them to get them to hang straight. I love these here. They're beautiful with the wood. You know, I have the wood corbels. I got these off of Amazon. I'll show those to y'all in just a second. Now I wanna do something different on here. So let me kind of play with this. I love some height up against the wall. So I have two corbels that I wanna put here. And do you see this spot that I have here? This is the spot I wanna fill. I have this pot it has a little bit of greenery in it, and I wanna try that. Do you see how much more space that I have? And I'm thinking I need to rise this up some more. Two different kinds of books. One of, both are encyclopedias, just different kinds. So I am going to put that up on this. When I use two different sizes, I can slant one just to give it some more dimension, but I'm almost not liking the look of the books. I love books, don't get me wrong, but I almost want something softer. So either I want a doily 
or a piece of material. I have this kind of dolly here, and I'm wondering if I fold it in half. It's got some really pretty detail on the corners. I don't know if you can see that. Here you go. Some really pretty details, and I want that to show. So I think what I'm gonna do Try to Nessie look it. Now see, I love that look. It's just kind of laying on top of that second book where it's giving me some more dimension. Now, right here needs something. You see this open area? So I need something there. I have this really pretty little jar. Now I probably have something in here, and I do, but uh, I just, things that I find around the house and I'll put it. It's, it's never ending in this house. If I find a place to put something, I'm gonna put it. But I am going to put that here. Now, this is how my mind works. And if you've noticed anything I've done, one, two, there's only two. I know there's two pictures and I get that, but you always want an odd number. One, two, three, four, four pieces. I need a fifth piece. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do here. I love this look. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not overdone. It's very simple, but I have five pieces. I realize I have these two over here. I get it. But what I'm looking at is the bigger pieces. So to me, these are the statement pieces and I have five. So normally, now there are times when you'll see I will have maybe an even number, but nine times out of 10, I have an odd. So rule of thumb, always do odd. Odd numbers are your friend. This may look new here. I have not had this piece here. It's got the serpentine front, the beautiful detail on the back. Not really sure if this is gonna stay here, but I wanted something dark in here. So I bought this from my really sweet friend up in Montgomery, Alabama. I believe that's where she's living or it might be Birmingham. So I may be completely wrong, but she lives in Alabama and she brought this home. She lived, she was originally from Andalusia and I bought this piece from her. Uh, so I am, I love this piece. It may not stay here. And the reason that I'm second guessing it is because where it hits on my mirror. I almost want to pull back in the original piece I had in here and paint it a different color, but I haven't gone that far yet. So I want to use this piece in here for right now, just until I find something that I really love to go here, because it is an antique. So I want to put something in front of this mirror. You know, when I was redoing this entryway, my thought was, to take this mirror completely down because it's directly in front of the door. I say directly in front of the door, but it's not. It's over to the, the right just a bit. So I don't have my, as they say, feng shui. It, my chi is not going directly out the door. Actually, it's hitting this wall over here. So I'm good, I'm good on that one. So I am going to leave the mirror where it's at. I love this mirror, it's humongous. Let me let you see the top. See how big and beautiful this mirror is? It's absolutely gorgeous. What this was, was the top to my buffet table in my dining room. This was my best friend's dresser in her bedroom and I painted it and redid it and put it in here and I love it. But I wanna do some height and a big flower arrangement. So for my hike, I'm gonna add my great-grandmother's silverware and just, just a tobacco. My brother used to smoke cigars and my boss did as well. So I got a ton of these little boxes. They're perfect for risers. But I'm gonna put that in the center. Now see, this is where my reservation is about putting this here because I'm hiding all this beautiful, intricate work. 
So I've got to find something to go here. I've already got my base made. And I'm caught up in it. Let's see. Yeah. These are from Hobby Lobby. These are just the white or off-white hydrangeas they have. They're a little pricey. They're about oh, $15, $16 a stem, I believe. But I catch them on sale, and when they go on sale, that's when I buy them. And I'll buy two and three at a time. So, and then I just added some Amazon greenery in here. This is some seeded eucalyptus. But I am going to put two American flags in here just because I want to keep the American look or Americana look until um, the 11th of September. All right, so I finally have my two American flags in there. They're pretty, pretty even because they're both flat on the bottom. But I did want to add some interest down in the front. So as I said earlier, you want a set of three. So here's my one. There's my two. And then my three. I want to set that up there so badly. I almost want to say one, two, three. I like it like that. What do y'all think? Let's move over to one other side and then we're done for the night. This little table is super special. So this little table was my grandmother's, then my mother's, and now mine. So my mom was saying to me, and I asked her the story today so I could share it with you all. My parents, or my, my grandparents, lived behind a hotel in Florida, I believe. And this was one of the little desks in one of those hotel rooms. So my grandparents bought this little table from the hotel, and my mother's had it all her life. So she was three years old. My mom's 87, I believe. So this table is probably over a hundred years old. That being said, it's absolutely precious to me and I'm so tickled that I have it in my home now, but I've already added some books under my little lamp and I'm going to do some blue and white and I bought this off of Amazon. This thing is gorgeous. Um, it was not, I think it was around $32. So I didn't think that was bad at all. So I'm just gonna put that there. You'll see down below, I have a basket and this is an antique basket. And when I take you off and show you, I'll let you see. It's an antique basket, but it's hiding my cords in the back, which works out perfectly. I think this is all I'm gonna do here. The only thing I might do is put my little um, American flag. I'll just put my little American flag right here at an angle angle. You see all these angles, guys? So I'm going to leave that as this is. You'll look up above and I'll show you all of this in just a moment, but this is the look I want. Something clean and crisp. I do have one more area. It is my mom's old icebox. Let's get on over there. Over here is my mother's antique icebox. And you can see I do use it for a ton of storage. Um, mother gave me a bunch of silver goblets and I don't have those out all the time. So it goes in there and my punch bowl is on the bottom. So that is what I store in this thing pretty much. But I did hang a really sweet, sorry about the lighting my friends. I had to get it closer so y'all could see. So I did hang this very sweet lamb picture up top. I love this picture. I found it on Big Canvas, I believe, and I fell in love with it. It's got all the little lambs up there, and y'all know I'm infatuated with lambs. Barns and lambs, that's my two things. So I wanted to do something very sweet over here. I do have a plug, and I do try to distract from that. It's a light for our outside, but, and I need it every once in a while. So I'm going to add some interest very subtle. These books were my great-grandfather's. I have a full set of them, but I use them kind of around where I just need a little bit of height. I have this blue and white piece and put that right here. And then I have this sweet little 
shoe, I'm just gonna stick it right there. So you remember how I talked about threes? So I have one, two, I need one little piece right here. And I was thinking, my little bunny. I know I have lambs up here, and eventually I will have some lambs. I know I have some lambs in my nativity scenes from Christmas. I just don't know if I want them out all the time. But I'm going to look into finding me some lambs to put around because I think I would love that. Um, you know, I think that would be absolutely amazing. I do want some greenery. I bought this from Pine and Ivy. I'm just going to stick that down in there just for a little bit of green. I love that, but I do want something over here, something to hide this, something low. I found this little blue bowl that my mother gave me, and I think I'm just going to pop it right there. It takes away from that. I have my three blues, so I like that look of it, so I'm loving this. And that's all we're going to do in the entryway. Let me show y'all. So in this area, there's the front door right here. I have my grandmother's little desk from the old hotel or motel next door where when my mother was a little girl. So this thing is probably, my mother said, maybe 100 years old. So I love it. It's so sweet. But I remember having this desk in my bedroom when I was a little girl, if that tells y'all anything. I've left the top pretty much as it was. And then we're going to look around the corner here. This is that, this is the table of my great grandmother's. And then I hung some of my mother's silver. And then my great grandmother's pictures, which I absolutely love. Little touch of my blue. And then down below, I did add my little welcome um americana dog i love him he's so cute I, i'm just gonna hate to put him up so not directly across from the door but sideways of the door i have this beautiful it's i think it's called a serpentine front because of this area right here but it's not all the way down serpentine if that makes sense so I love this table. Not really sure if it's gonna stay here with my dresser mirror above painted a beautiful gray and it is washed with a bit of white wax just to give it some more interest. I, I love the wood, but I almost think it needs something different. So we're gonna have to look for something antique to go in this area. And then over here is my mother's antique ice box. I love it over here, it's great storage. And then my sweet painting that I got. And I'll tag down below exactly where I got that because I am an older lady and I do forget time and time where I get stuff. And then just a little touch of blue with a little whimsy of my bunny rabbit. And then my mother's blue and white bowl. I love this room. I love having an entry foyer. I've never had one really before until now. So love it, love it, love it. Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope y'all have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye now.